Okay, go ahead and get your science books and turn to page 260. So I'll let you go ahead and get that and turn to that page. So you can pause it while you do that. Kinds of fossils. You might think that the photo shows a plant that is living today, but this plant lived millions of years ago. What you see is a fossil that formed from the ancient plant. Fossils are the remains of living things or traces of living things that lived very long ago. A trace is a footprint, burrow, or other mark left by a living thing. Scientists have found fossils that are billions of years old. A fossil can be so small that you cannot see it with just your eyes, or it can be as large as a dinosaur. Fossils of a whole organism are rare. Most fossils form from the hard parts of living things, such as bones, shells, and teeth. Most organisms do not form fossils. They decay or are eaten after they die. Fossils only form in certain conditions. One important condition is that the body or trace of an organism must be quickly buried by mud, sand, or other materials. This most often happens on the bottom of rivers, swamps, lakes, or oceans. Draw conclusions. Describe a kind of animal mark that might become a fossil. Literacy toolbox. Use evidence from text. Evidence. Okay, so in your journal, I would like you to go ahead and describe a kind of animal mark that might become a fossil. So think about the evidence in the text. If you look at this paragraph here, you see that most of the times the animals don't become fossils the full body. They usually leave some type of a print or a trace. Well, we're going to be making a print or a trace tomorrow. So today I want you just to think what kind of a print or mark might be left. Go ahead and draw a picture of a couple ideas of some things that you might draw that would become prints. Go ahead and pause and do that. Okay, now I'd like you to go ahead and turn to page 262 and 263. How does a fossil form? Visual Literacy Connection Some fossils are found whole, and some fossils are found in parts. Why do you think that happens? Well, let's take a look at how does a fossil form. Number one, a fish dies in the ocean. Its body sinks to the ocean floor. So here's number one. This poor guy. The fish's body is quickly covered with layers of mud or sand on the ocean floor. So you can see right here it's covered up. Water flows through the rock and dissolves the remains of the fish. The empty space left behind is the fossil mold. Minerals enter the mold and harden over many years. This forms a cast fossil. Over time, these layers form rock. After millions of years, the ocean changes and causes the formation of the land to change. Some fossils are found whole and some fossils are found in parts. Why do you think that happens? Go ahead and write what you think, your prediction, and you might change it after you watch the next video.